This video is going to show you how to copy a formula down using some absolute instead of relative positions. So let's say I've got this formula on my little spreadsheet and for whatever reason I want to take the number 4 in the yellow cell and multiply it by everything that's in this E column. So I want to take the 4 and divide it by the stuff in the blue cell and everything down below. So what I'll do is I'll go here and I'll double click and create my formula. Equal sign. I'll click in the cells. So that's the, the one I want to multiply. Do the time symbol. Multiply it by the stuff in the E column. So that's all set. And then when I copy it down, that's what I should expect to see. But these numbers aren't right. Because I know that 4 times po negative 0.1, it's not 0.048. So if I double click on it, I can see that it's no longer keeping F2 up here. Now it's doing F3. So something's happened to my formula. I need some way to tell it not to change that first value, but to keep changing the second value. And that's easy to do. What I'll do is I'll double click on the formula that I want at the top. And in front of the F, I'm going to do a dollar sign. So I'll do a shift and above the number 4, there's a dollar sign. Then I'll move over, do a shift above the number 4, another dollar sign. And now I'll press enter to accept the formula. And I'll copy it down this time. So I'll move it over here until I get my cursor to be the little crosshairs. Drag them down. Now that's what I expect. And if I double click on a cell, so way down here, I can see that this time the F2, it didn't change. It's still F2. That's what those dollar signs do. They, they keep it from changing. 